Hey everybody, it's Sarah. Thank you again for watching another one of my videos. Um, before we get started, wherever it is, I can't tell, I think I'm mirrored. Just hit the, the like button, the one that looks like this, not the one that looks like this. Please share too, if you feel like it, anyway. So I wanna talk about something that isn't talked about very much lately, or really at all. I wanna talk about um, Meniere's disease. What's Meniere's disease, Sarah? I've never heard of that. What is that? Is that what kind of, that sounds weird. What's Meniere's disease? And every time I do a dang video, there's always a cat crying. I'm sorry. Meniere's disease, let's see. First off, they don't really know anything about it at all, really. They, they can't test you for it. There's no cure for it. There isn't really anything they can do. They'll make some diet suggestions and uh, recommend a water pill. That's that's all they're, they're you know doctors are really not about healing anyway they're more about telling your body to shut up and masking symptoms and yeah they are they don't they're not there to get well you get there to keep the pharmaceutical companies rich but that's not something they want you to know anyway what we're talking about Meniere's disease what is it how do you find out if you have it well for starters there's certain symptoms you gotta have. If you have all of the above symptoms, you have it. So it can cause ringing of the ears, vertigo, fullness feeling in the ear. Um, so it's usually only on the right side and it usually only affects one ear. It usually doesn't start until you're at least 30. There are cases where it starts sooner, but typically 30-ish is where it'll manifest into your life and yeah so if you fit have all of those symptoms you have it there's no test what it's like for starters most people that have Meniere's don't even know they have it in fact um, the very first time it showed its face in my life I think I was 32 I'm 36 now yeah, I know, I don't look it, but that's okay. And I was actually getting ready to go on vacation, and my boss said, you know, you just go ahead and take out the trash, and you can leave an hour early, go ahead and go on vacation. I'm like, yes, I'm out of here. I, I liked the job at the time. I really didn't care to leave early, but, you know, I was excited to go start vacation. And I went to go take a step towards the garbage can, and it was like, somebody took my balance or like kind of shook up the room a little bit taking a step seemed like I was worried I was gonna fall I really had no clue what was going on and I just was like I guess I was trying to be in denial that it was going on I was like oh my god I'm feeling kind of woozy dizzy things are kind of sloshy uh, I don't know what's going on and I actually had not even put two and two together but earlier that week I had kept feeling like there was water in my ear and I thought oh my gosh like I like it's clogged I tried peroxide in the ear I tried I put all kinds of stuff in my ear I probably shouldn't have done trying I just felt like there was water in my ear and I had to get it out and nothing I would do to get it out I think I, it went away on its own but I think I had taken like sinus spray and um like Sudafed things to like dry out your sinuses and eventually it went away and I think I associated with them the medication fixing it but it just probably went away but so that the room is spinning and I can't get to the garbage I can't even walk I'm hanging on to a railing freaking out like I'm really dizzy right now and I don't know what's going on and there was a, a fire department or whatever right behind where I work so we walk over there and I'm like this because I can't pick up my head because everything around me is spinning and I just need to look down because if I just focus on one spot, the room isn't spinning on me. Well, they sent us to urgent care, the fire department, they can't, couldn't really do nothing. So they sent me to urgent care and urgent care is like, well, um, it sucks to be you. You're one of those people that unfortunately gets random vertigo. So take this Meclizine and have a good day. Here's your bill. Well, I didn't get dizzy again for probably over a year. And so I was just like, well, okay, I guess I got like 
crystals or something in my ear. They were telling me, oh, if I just like do this weird exercise, I'll shake the crystals loose and I'll be just fine. But yeah, it, it didn't happen again. So I was like, okay, I guess they're right. I'm just one of those weird people that's forever just going to have random vertigo. Yay me. Well, about a year after that, the fullness feeling in the ear returned, and I thought, well, last time I took um, Sudafed and I took this nose spray, and my hearing or my ear cleared up. So I'm gonna try that again. Well, I took a bunch of that stuff, and nothing happened. I I couldn't get my ear to clear. And next thing you know, I'm getting vertigo again. Well, this time I got medication. I talked, popped the meclizine. A little while later, it goes away. And I'm like, okay. I guess that this part of it. So now that I'm getting older, it's gonna happen more and more often. I'm gonna just get random vertigo. I'm just gonna have to learn to deal with this. Well, it didn't stop there. The next day, I got vertigo again, and a month later, I got it again, and I had it three days in a row after that point. I was like, okay, now something is wrong. It's happening too often. I was fine like this once a year thing, but now it's getting a little regular. Am I doing something? What's going on? So I go and see an ENT and he's like, so you had vertigo, any other symptoms? I was like, yeah, my ear feels full. Like there's fluid in it. I can't get it out. I can hear my heartbeat. I get ringing in the ears. I can't really hear that well out of the right side. And I, you know, I, and I'm getting the vertigo on top of it. My balance is a little off now. And sometimes I, I kind of walk and stumble like I'm drunk and I don't even drink. And so they're like, oh, well, you're over 30, it's only on the right side and one ear. Everything inside your ears looks really good and healthy, so you got Meniere's disease. Uh, lower the sodium in your diet and take a water pill for the rest of your life. Have a good day. Oh, well, we'll, we'll check your hearing, too. And then after 30 days of taking these water pills, we'll see how your hearing does. And if it improves, hey, it's working. So at the time, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll blindly follow and uh, I'll, I'll pop the pills like you say. I'll get better, right? No, you're not going to get better. You're not cured. That's not how this works. You're just going to take these pills. So taking the pills. Sorry, I can email notifications that won't stop popping up here. Taking these pills, 30 days later, my hearing does improve. They're like, all right, great. Sounds like uh, you're a success. Keep taking this stuff. That's what it is, you know, just learn to deal and manage. Well, after another month or so of taking these water pills, they said, now your potassium's low. Okay, so here we've taken this pill to take the salt out of my body, potassium out of my body. Now i got to put it back in. Okay, so this doesn't feel right. But okay, maybe it's just a vitamin. I guess I'll take it. Well, when the pharmacist told me, that I'd have to be upright for 30 minutes, and if it felt like it was burning or stuck at all, and these are huge pills, if it feels like it's burning or stuck at all, go to the ER immediately. I was like, I ain't taking that. I'm not taking these water pills anymore. I'm not taking that stuff anymore. I actually started, that's when I found the medical medium. Started following him to the T, got it to go away. Well, I live in the same world that you all do. And it's a big thing right now. For all these food companies to basically get us addicted to these high sodium, highly addictive, full of fat, sugar, salt, the whole trifecta of everything we're hardwired to be addicted to. And even though I was, um, my ear stopped ringing, uh, all this, I actually have water retention in my legs too, so maybe other people that have Meniere's, you might have symptoms of leg retention or water retention in your legs or hands or feet and you haven't had any of the other symptoms and you're younger than 30 be mindful that that could eventually lead up to that just if your legs are swelling on a regular probably safe to say you're eating a lot of sodium so I follow the medical medium. I basically switched to 90% fruits, vegetables, smoothies, spirulina, celery juice, things like that. Actually got it to completely go away. Actually was symptom free, no ear ringing, no leg water retention, nothing like that. I was, I was good. 
And then all of a sudden I started eating, <laughs> I started eating the junk again. Um, I was actually working for DoorDash and all the in and out of the fast food restaurants and smelling the food and it started up again. My Meniere's is back and it's, it's getting really intense. Um, they have different stages. Stage one, you probably just get a few random cases of vertigo. Uh, stage two, you may have the hearing loss and the constant feeling of having fullness in your ear or ringing or your heartbeat. Stage three. <clears throat> Um, is it stage three or stage four? Okay, stage two you'll have all that and then the vertigo, but stage three you'll have all of that and then something called drop attacks. When I first heard about drop attacks, I thought, well, I mean, from what it sounds like, you fall, but how do you fall? Is it because you your legs buckle out? Do you, like kind of faint like if you stand up too fast if you've ever fainted I don't know what's happened to me or at least I like have blacked out for a minute um so I was like I guess I was curious what I was in for well I've actually been eating really good lately but I think because I recently had laser vein surgery that maybe I'm having problems with circulation but I finally um yesterday had my first drop attack so a drop attack is the most intense, sudden burst of vertigo, and it just like smacks you so hard that everything is upside down, left sideways, you can't, if you're standing, you're gonna be so thrown off balance so quickly that you're likely to fall. Now, I didn't go to the doctor and ask him, but after it happened to me twice yesterday, once while I was driving and I was on the freeway, it was very scary, I had to pull over is I just, everything was spinning so intensely hard. I mean, I've had vertigo before and it, it usually comes on slow, lasts a while and goes down slow depending on medication. But this was like quick, bam, you had vertigo. Less than a minute later, it was gone. And I've had, I had two yesterday and I had, was just visiting some friends and I had two more. Luckily I was sitting down, but I'm, honestly, I'm I'm really hoping that you know I'm doing right with the food, and what's happening is it's detoxing and leaving my body because the alternative is I'm progressing, and it's getting worse. And you know I just there's a lot of people out there experiencing this, and they don't know what's happening to them because they haven't been diagnosed, or you know maybe they only had one symptom at the time. And they thought that they were just one of them unlucky people that's stuck having vertigo. Definitely if you have not one or two of those symptoms, but all of them, unless it's early on. Definitely, you know, you could see the ENT. They'll just ask you if you have all those symptoms. If you have all of those symptoms, the right ear only. It can be both ears, but that's rare. It can be the left ear. That's also rare. It happens more in women than men. But it's typically one ear and the right ear. It's a fullness feeling or a ringing or your heartbeat or all of the above. Random vertigo, usually followed by the fullness feeling, although in the later stages it's just always full and ringing and you just learn to deal with it. And if you're over 30. So if you have all of that, you very likely have it. And the only thing I can tell you as far as relief is for one you're, you're glued to that freaking mechalazine you got to have it by your side at all times i i don't know i haven't had the opportunity to try high enough concentration of cbd to see if that would help if anybody else has please comment below anybody has um vertigo tips for anybody else experience this Put it down below. You know, help somebody else out. Write down below what you use for vertigo. Write down below. <laughs> we all want to know how to naturally help vertigo. No, I don't think I don't like taking medication. I really don't. But when that mech, when that vertigo hits, it it feels like I gotta take it quick. But now, 
now with these late drop attacks, it, it's intense quick and it's gone quick. I guess it's, it feels kind of better unless I'm standing because when it happened yesterday the second time I was getting out of the shower. Luckily I was able to brace myself into a corner because if I had taken the step out I'd, I'd have fell and got hurt really bad. So I, I just really wanted to put this video out here because it bothers me a lot when I talk about this disease that I'm suffering from and nobody really seems to even know what it is. It's like nobody can relate. I know that if I put this out there, other people are going to see it and they're going to have some relief finally knowing what's wrong with them. Knowing that somebody else is going through this and they're not alone. So if you know anybody who's got vertigo issues or who's been maybe complaining they got water in their ear or they're feeling funny or their balance is off or you think in some way this video can help and open a light for them, please share it with them. If you have any suggestions on any natural remedies for any of the above, vertigo, Meniere's, maybe you're familiar with it, you know anything about Anthony Williams and the medical medium and you want to, you know, add some of his stuff, please do post away. Um, namaste. <laughs> um, and uh, don't forget to hit that like button, share. I love you guys, okay? I'm, I'm dealing with it with you too. I'm here for you. You can text me or message me down below and you know if you need someone to talk to I'm here for you okay have a good night